Hello and welcome to another English class. Today we are looking at future perfect. Now future perfect is used when something will have happened or started before the time in the sentence and that's the grammar will have happened okay will for the future have because it's perfect and past participle because it's perfect tense we always use infinitives after modal verbs and when it's a perfect sentence we have to use the perfect infinitive which is have okay and then the past participle. We always use past participles in perfect sentences. Okay? So something happens before a time in the sentence or something has started before the time in the sentence. Let's look at some examples. I will have left my house at 10 a.m. Which means I'm leaving my house before this time. Will have left. Leave, left, left. Okay? So don't come to my house at 10 a.m because I'm leaving before 10 a.m. I will have left my house at 10 a.m. I can also say by 10 a.m. because by means before in many cases. In this case, definitely. She will have arrived by 6 p.m., which means she is arriving before 6 p.m. So you can come and visit her at 6 p.m. because she will arrive, she will be arriving before then, okay? Can I come to your house at 3 p.m.? No, I won't have returned at 3 p.m., which means this action will not have happened before this time. If you come to my house before 3 p.m., you're wasting your time. I won't be there before 3 p.m. I won't be there at 3 p.m. I'll be there after, but not before. Will you have finished the design by the weekend? I should think so. I should think so means most probably, very, very likely. Okay. Will you have finished? Will this action be done before this time? In one week, I will have lived here for five years. We also use future perfect to say how, how long something has been happening, which is still in progress. Um, for example, I live here and I moved here on, it's the 19th of July today, so let's say the 26th of July, as an example, I moved on the 26th of July, so in one week from now, I will have lived here for five years. That's the five-year anniversary, the 26th of July. Oh, that long, huh? Yep. Uh, you can also say I will have been living here for five years, which brings me to future perfect continuous. I could say I will have been living here for five years. With live and work, you can use the simple or the continuous um, tenses because it, it, they're both fine. But some verbs, no. In two days, I will have been teaching for 10 years. And this is what I'm talking about. When we talk about duration, how long, we don't use perfect simple. We use perfect continuous. If it's present perfect, I have been teaching for 13 years. Not I have taught, okay? So when you're using, uh, when you're talking about duration, you must use perfect continuous unless it's a non-continuous verb. For example, no, I know him. I have known him for 10 years. Not I have been knowing him because that's a non-continuous verb. But if it's a continuous verb, use the continuous tense for duration. I will have been teaching for 10 years. Okay, so in two days, it's my anniversary when I started teaching. Actually, I started teaching uh, 13 years ago, not 10, but this is just an example. In one minute, Joey will have been running non-stop for 45 minutes. So he started running 44 minutes ago. So in one minute, he will have been doing this non-stop for 45 minutes, running non-stop on a treadmill or something like that. In one week... Another anniversary now. On the 26th of July, I started working for this company 20 years ago. So in one week, I will have been working here for 20 years. You can use the simple for live and work or the continuous for live and work. I use the simple here, the continuous here. Live and work, it doesn't matter. Continuous or simple, you can use both. But for all other verbs which are continuous verbs, use the continuous for duration unless it's a non-continuous verb, 
then you have to use the simple, as I mentioned to you before. Okay? Oh, wow. I hope that's very clear. Subscribe to the channel for regular English videos. Hit thumbs up, hit like, thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment if you have any doubts or questions. And share this with anyone you know who is learning English, because it could be very useful for them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon for another English video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.